Have you ever wondered about the lesser known aspects of Lord Vishnu's Kalki avatar? The one prophesied to restore righteousness and destroy evil in the future? Allow me to share an untold version of his fascinating story. In an epoch when darkness was rampant and unrighteousness was at its peak, Lord Vishnu saw it fitting to manifest as Kalki. His birthplace was a modest village named Shambhala, nestled within the unforgiving terrain of the Himalayas. Blessed were his earthly parents, Sumati and Vishwas, known for their unwavering faith and warrior prowess. As Kalki matured, his extraordinary attributes began to surface. His archery skills were unparalleled, his wisdom deep, and his divine aura radiated far and wide. The villagers revered him, sensing that he was no ordinary being. Kalki's mission was to gear up for the ultimate battle against the dark forces of the demon Kali, who had been wreaking havoc for centuries. Guided by the enlightened sage Parashurama, Kalki honed his martial arts, studied scriptures, and mastered divine weaponry. He also gathered a band of faithful disciples who shared his vision of restoring righteousness. As Kali's malevolent influence pervaded the land, his demonic army bolstered. They tormented innocent souls, corrupting their minds and hearts. The moment for Kalki's divine intervention was drawing close. On a destined day, mounted on his splendid white steed, Devadatta, Kalki rode into the battlefield against Kali's forces. Wielding his divine sword, Chandrahasa, and celestial bow, Gandiva, he led a righteous battle. The heavens seemed to align with him as celestial beings rained blessings from above. After an intense showdown, Kalki emerged victorious over Kali, signifying the triumph of righteousness over unrighteousness. Peace was restored and Kalki's mission was accomplished. Contrary to the previous avatars, Kalki chose to remain among humans, guiding them towards righteousness, ensuring a world devoid of darkness. The story of Kalki is a beacon of hope and an eternal testament to the struggle between good and evil. It serves as a reminder that even in the grimmest times, divine intervention can lead to the restoration of righteousness and the victory of truth.